Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today our group will present on our assignment which is gas chromatography GC and also high performance liquid chromatography HPLC. My name is Nur Ali Aisha binti Muhammad Jari will be the first presenter. So for the introduction of gas chromatography, it is a process by which a mixture is separated into its constituent by a gas phase moving over a stationary phase. Typical use of GC including testing the purify of a particular substance or separating the different components of a mixture. In gas chromatography, the mobile phase or a moving phase is a carrier gas such as helium and nitrogen, while the stationary phase is a microscopic layer of liquid or polymer on an inert solid support inside a column. The instrument used to perform gas chromatography is called gas chromatograph. The gases compound being analyzed interact with the walls of the column, which is coated with a stationary phase. This causes each compound to elude a different time, which is known as the retention time. My name is Siti Nor Natasha. I will continue with methodology. So the apparatus and chemical we need are beaker, shrink, dropper, 2 papanol, butanol, standard mixture of 2 papanol and butanol, and unassembled. So, the first part, sample handling. 1. Dressing was rinsed before fill it with the sample. The sample volume was made sure it was more than the required volume. Dressing was tapped gently to remove any air bubbles. 2. Dressing was held practically near the lab and the plunger was pushed to the required volume at eye level as the sample was removed by using a tissue. Part B. Experimental 1. The instrument was switched on. The GC was set using the following condition 70 degrees Celsius of initial and final orbit temperature, 180 degrees Celsius of injection and detector temperature. 2. The component standard mixture and unassembled was injected, and the retention time of each component was determined and identified individually. 3. The column temperature was changed as follows. 100 degrees Celsius of initial and final column temperature, standard mixture was injected and commented on the reducing the temperature. 4. The oven temperature was changed as follows. 140 degrees Celsius of initial and final oven temperature, standard mixture was injected and commented on the increasing the temperature. Part C. Operation of GC 1. The sample was injected into spectra, which is the liner. 2. The oven volume was checked. The instrument was made sure in the off mode. 3. The instrument was switched on. Warming tool will ring if the gas was not enough. 4. Instrument 1 online was clicked in the window. The instrument was allowed to set up itself. 5. Then, method, edit entire method, all the items in the column was made sure was correct. OK was click. The title was enter and click OK. 6. Manner was click to select injection. Back was click to select injection location. At instrument, inlet was edit. Back was choose and the information was kept. 7. Split mode was choose if sample in high concentration. Splitless was choose if the sample in low concentration. 8. Column number 2 was choose in column section. Back was choose at inlet column. Constant pressure was choose at mode column. And ambient was choose at outlet column. 9. FID front was choose at detector column. 10. Parameter was in check. Time 5 minute 1 microliter. 11. Apply. OK. Signal detail, OK. Edit integration events, OK. Specify report, OK. Runtime checklist, OK was clicked. 12. Save was clicked on file. 13. Sample info was clicked at run control. 14. Signal tool was set. Sample name was filled. Run methods was clicked. 15. The sample was injected quickly and then start button was pressed quickly on the instrument. The string was pulled out quickly from the spectra. 16. File then look signal was clicked at the data analysis. 17. Calibration was entered. 
new calibration table was clicked, name was entered, and the document was printed. 18. For the next sample, data analysis was clicked and steps 13 to 15 was repeated. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Aisha Bendi Samsudin and I will be explaining the result for experiment 5, gas chromatography. As mentioned before, the standard mixture is consists of 2-propanol and n-butanol. So the column here is referred to 2-propanol and column here is referred to n-butanol. For the other result, we obtain the same result as 2 propanol which is 1.47 minute. So this means that the unknown number is 2 propanol. Mm. Overall, the rotation time for 2 propanol is much faster than n butanol. As the temperature increases, the retention time will be decreased. Hi, my name is Nur Aini Binti Mama Rasul and I'm going to continue with discussion. So, to reduce the analysis time and produce better separation, the optimum gas flow rate must be used. So, the optimum mobile phase flow rate is 70 m per second that gives good resolution compared to others. So, high flow rate will shorten the analysis time but will cause the broadening due to the mass transfer system in when dimmed plate because the solution doesn't fully interact with the stationary phase. The column temperature also affects the separation resolution and the analysis time. High column temperature will give short analysis time, but some of the early peaks may be overlap, while low column temperature produce better separation but will take very long analysis time. The optimum column temperature must be used uh, in analysis time in order to separate each compound adequately. So basically, 210 Celsius is best column temperature to separate each of the compounds. So, for better separation, high efficiency, good resolution, and short analysis time for separation are provided by the optimum gas flow rate and optimum column temperature. Since gas chromatography separation is dependent on the compound's boiling point, it can be concluded that the lowest boiling point is methyl lauryl followed by methyl mystery state. So, uh, methyl palmitate has the highest boiling point. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nor Aina Shafika Binti Ismail. So this is the conclusion of gas chromatography experiment. So the methyl palmitate has the highest boiling point which is 140 Celsius. The unknown number of unknown sample is 2 propanol with retention time 1.47 minutes. Therefore, raising the column temperature speeds up all the compound in a mixture. Gas chromatography is one of the most useful instruments in chemistry due to its simplicity, sensitivity and efficiency in the separation of a mixture components. It is commonly used in the quantitative and qualitative analysis of mixture and in the purification of compounds. So this slide shows the reference of gas chromatography experiment. My name is Nur Aini Binti Muhammad Rusub and I'm, uh, I'm going to start with introduction. So, a method of separation analysis that uses the liquid mobile phase and the liquid separation phase is high performance liquid chromatography. So, depending on the variation in the polarity of the analytes, separation occurs. In the stationary phase, the analytes that interact most will elute later than the analytes that interact least in the stationary phase. So, stationary stage is non-polar which use the reverse phase chromatography. Meanwhile, the polar mixture is the mobile phase. So the changes in the polarity of the mobile phase will influence the interaction between the analyte and the stationary phase. And it also affect the separation efficiency as well. So the changes in the composition of the mobile phase may be made by the isocratic illusion when the composition of the mobile phase is constant during the study and also by gradient illusion in which the composition of the mobile phase changes either continuously or in step during the separation in order to distinguish the analyte's wide range of polarity. So the goal of this experiment is to optimize the HPLC separation of caffeine, acetone, methylbenzoate, phenethyl and phenytrate by varying the composition of the mobile phases. Next is methodology for 
HPLC experiment. There is two part here which are part A and part B. In part A experimental, the method is from caffeine standard solution to sample preparation until obtaining the result for result of time retention for caffeine. In operation of the HPLC part B, here is the instrument used and here is a few precautions before starting the instrument. Then there is two part which is uh, which are method for running the software and method for sample preparation. All of these method were done with care to prevent any incident and to make sure obtaining accurate result. So this is the result of the experiment conducted in HPLC. Uh, the software sample that we use for the experiment is Cook. This is the calculation to find the concentration of caffeine in soft drink sample. So the first step is we have to find the concentration of caffeine standard, which is 0.1 mg per milliliter. Next, if we find the RF value of caffeine standard uh, by dividing the peak area caffeine standard with the concentration of caffeine standard. Next, we find the concentration of caffeine in unknown sample by dividing the peak area caffeine in the sample dividing by the RF value. So the total concentration of caffeine in the soft drink sample that we got is 151.2 parts per million. My name is Siti Nora Natasha. I will continue with discussion. In this experiment, high performance liquid chromatography HPLC is used. Basically, HPLC is a highly enhanced type of column chromatography. It is pushed through under high pressure instead of a liquid being allowed to drip to a column under gravity. This makes it even better. The basic component of HPLC includes solvent, which is mobile piece, decassion system, pump, injector, column, and dictator. In this experiment, it is used to determine the retention time of a standard solution, which is caffeine. To identify the caffeine peak in a soft drink sample and to determine the amount of caffeine in soft drink sample using the response factor method. In this experiment, in order to eliminate error in their concentration, the sample and criteria must be properly prepared. Next, the shrink also was rinsed with the sample at least three times until it filled with the injection sample. This decreases the chance that the concentration and composition of standard will be affected by contamination. From the result, the RF value of KV standard was calculated, which is 1,479,720 while the concentration of caffeine in the soft drink is 151.2 part per million. The peak area of caffeine in Ranto was choose which is 2,237,029 to calculate the amount of caffeine in the soft drink. This is because the retention time value in the Ranto is the nearest with the retention time of the standard caffeine. Some recommendation in this experiment to make sure to get the accurate result is the peak area of each standard should be calculated twice. This helps the estimation of average peak area and eliminates random error. In addition, by taking further measurement and using their average value, better precision can be assured. So this is the conclusion of high performance liquid chromatography experiment. In conclusion, the unknown sample contains caffeine with a concentration of 151.2 ppm. Higher organic solvent content will improve the solvent intensity that will shorten the time of analysis. Qualitative research was carried out to determine the compounds in the mixture by comparing the peaks in the mixture with the peaks of the standard compound. So this slide shows the reference of high performance liquid chromatography experiment.